Well, first of all, I just want to thank Supervisor Remain and uh, the great town board here at Brookhaven. Uh, they are a, a strong team in working together to improve this town. Uh, and really the lifeblood of, of Brookhaven, the, the engine that keeps this town moving, uh, are the, the workers uh, who are here in the town, uh, both working for government, but also those uh, who are working for our great local businesses. And what you see here are a number of leaders and communities uh, all across the town uh, who represent hardworking uh, Long Islanders who have gone through a really tough few months. And it's not easy to have to close because of what was going on with the pandemic. Uh, it's hard enough already to be a small business owner, uh, even you know, whether it's a good economy or bad. These local leaders uh, have pushed and pulled their uh, communities through the toughest of challenges these last few months and want to help lead their local communities out of this stronger than ever. And the only way for these local leaders to help uh, their companies, uh, these great small business owners, uh, is with the support of Supervisor Romain and this great town board uh, to be providing help such as uh, this personal protective equipment provided uh, to the town for our chambers to help these business owners and their employees to keep them safe, to keep their customers, their clients, their patients, uh, whatever they call those who are helping keep that business, that company strong and open. Uh, and this is just one small step to keep Brookhaven healthy, to keep Brookhaven safe, and to come out the other side stronger than ever. I am honored to be here in, in their presence. Uh, and this is one, uh, one team. Uh, this is one community. This is one fight. We're all here as Brookhaven residents, proud of Brookhaven proud of our local communities and all motivated to do our part working together uh, to ensure that this town emerges stronger than ever before. So uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Town Supervisor, for uh, your leadership, for your invite, and for your partnership. Thank you, Congressman Zeldin, for taking care of us and particularly for taking care of our small businesses and making sure that those who shop in their businesses are safe and secure. I'm just going to ask everyone to introduce themselves and where they're from. I'm going to start with our councilwoman down there at the end, Councilman Valerie Cartwright. Hey, Councilwoman Valerie Cartwright representing Council District 1. Councilwoman Barbara Rosen representing Council District 2. Councilwoman Lisa Cartwright representing Council District 3. Councilwoman Lisa Cartwright representing Council District 4. Councilwoman Lisa Cartwright representing Council District 3. Councilwoman Lisa Cartwright representing Council District 3. Councilwoman Lisa Cartwright representing Council District 3. Councilwoman Lisa Cartwright representing Council Barbara Ransom, President of the Brookhaven Chamber of Commerce Coalition and Executive Director of Florida Port Jefferson Chamber. Jane Taylor with Three Village Chamber of Commerce. Jerry Zappanero, North Chamber of Commerce. Beth Wall, Chamber of Commerce of the Mastics in Shirley. Gary Polakuski, Rocky Point South Beach Chamber of Commerce. Kevin Himes, President of the Ronkonkoma Chamber of Commerce. Maureen Newman, Greater Middle Country Chamber of Commerce. Tim Tubo, Town of Brookhaven, Department of Economic Development. Justin Bernard, member of Anthony Village Chamber of Commerce. David Kennedy, Greater Patchogue Chamber of Commerce. Michael Ligarcio, Councilman, 4th Council District. Gary Carruthers, Director of Farmingville Hills Chamber of Commerce. We have more on your side. We have two more. Joan Nickerson, Port Jefferson Station, Terryville Chamber of Commerce. Emily Connor, Farmingville Hills Chamber of Commerce. So thank you, Congressman Zeldin. 10,000 masks will be circulated. And as you can see, just about every major community with the Chamber of Commerce, Brookhaven Town, are getting these masks. They're going to be distributed. We're going to be safer to shop in the stores. Thank you, Congressman Zeldin, for watching all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, please visit these businesses. Uh, they need your help. Uh, the best way for them to come out of this stronger, for them to be able to grow, for people to have jobs, is for all of us uh, to be able to visit these, these small businesses, these great downtowns. Uh, provide your money here. There are plenty of options. There are other places you can go. Uh, but please uh, support these local small businesses. They need your help. Please stop where you live. Stop local. Stop local.